What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Jeremy and this is Jerry's Wild World. So as you probably saw from today's title, today we're going to be rehousing some absolutely gorgeous vampire crabs, the Geosasama Denarelli. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, the Red Ruby version. Now these are absolutely stunning vampire crabs that I picked up at the Mildenhall Invert Show 2023. One absolutely fantastic show that was and if you haven't checked out last week's video, I highly recommend doing so. Now, I'll be setting up this enclosure off camera, but I'm basically going to be showing off the crabs, the enclosure. Uh, you probably have a little bit of a sneak peek at the thumbnail, um, but regardless, I cannot wait to get this all set up. And yeah, so before we get into today's video, guys, I just want to quickly say that according to my YouTube statistics, a lot of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more, click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you don't guys will miss out on future content. So without further ado, Let's start off today's video by showing off these absolutely stunning vampire crabs. All right, so starting off today's video with showing the vampire crabs that I did pick up at the Mildenhall Invert Show 2023. Absolutely fantastic show once again, and a massive shout out to amazing reptiles, Caroline and Andrew, as well as Phil from Cradle Inverts and Other Animals. Once again, you guys absolutely smashed that show, had an awesome time. Um, but yeah, so today we're going to be rehousing and hopefully breeding these stunning vampire crabs, the red ruby vampire crabs. I can never remember the full scientific name, but I believe they are Geosasama something, but the scientific name will be down here. Um, but yeah, so um, since the show, unfortunately, I have lost one of the males, so I'm left with a 1.2 ratio uh, breeding group. But um, it is slightly better to have more females than males anyway, so I'm not... Um, you know upset at all and I wouldn't blame it on the shop where I got these from uh, simply because you know they are wild caught and that's why I love to encourage for captive breeding uh, where I can and that's hopefully what I'm going to be doing with these gorgeous vampire crabs um, so yeah let's have a look at these stunning little ones right here so as you can see they are climbing on the moss and stuff I'll just pick one up and show you guys up close on the camera so take a look at this little one, absolutely beautiful. And you can see why they call them red rubies. Really, really stunning. So I believe this one is the female or one of the females. Now the way you can tell, oh, actually it's the male. So you can tell it's the male because of the apron. As you can see, the males have a V shape on the underneath. And I'll just get one of the females here. You stay in there. So here's one of the females. So as you can see, the females have a c-shaped apron um, basically they all have the wider apron in order to carry the eggs in um, but yeah so they're absolutely beautiful and hopefully they'll enjoy their little setup so yeah i'm left with unfortunately one male and two females but fingers crossed these two females end up being gravid and producing some babies for me so yeah so that's me showcasing these absolutely stunning crabs let's move on to showcasing the enclosure that i'm going to be housing them in all right, guys, so this is the enclosure that I'm going to be housing these absolutely stunning Geosasama in. Now, this is the uh, Zoomed Creatures uh, Low Profile Enclosure. Now, um, I did pick this up at the Ely Exotics store. They did have them at the show, but unfortunately, I missed out on them by the time I got my vampire crabs. Uh, but this enclosure is absolutely awesome and a bargain price as well. Everything inside here cost £40, including the tank. Really, really good deal, in my opinion. And, you know, I've not had a Zoomed enclosure before. So I wanted to try it out and let's just have a look at the stuff inside. So of course, this is not sponsored or anything. I paid full cash on this. Um, but yeah, so what I liked about this is that they had the mesh lids. Oh, sorry about hearing the camera there, guys. Uh, but as you can see, it's got the mesh lids and, you know, simple lock that you can just pull open. I believe which way? This way. This way around. Just like that. Should have had it the other way around, but never mind. Uh, I'll just put that floor for now uh, but let's just take a look at what you get inside the, uh, the tank so you do get some bits and bobs with it so starting off with a piece of cork bark can't go wrong with this piece of cork bark um you know i've got plenty of the stuff it's great for enclosures um design wise makes it look really natural uh they have this little uh, food dish that i'll probably use for the food uh, not the most naturalistic looking in the world but i'll probably use it just for now just to feature into today's video and then change it out for a more naturalistic one down the road and then you also get a bag of substrate so this substrate let's have a look um, ooh, does appear to be a pretty nice substrate not the usual co cocoa fiber uh, let's have a look see here so it's a natural mix of peat moss soil sand and carbon so it's actually perfect so i'm going to actually use this um in the tank as long as as well as my own substrate mix because i use topsoil and peat moss mix as well add some extra bits of sand and basically the plan is to 
escape the entire tank have maybe a water dish on this side that I bought at Ely Exotics and then you know have um, some nice bits of cork bark and some plants and stuff because um, I'm, I'm going to utilize all the plants I picked up uh, at the shop um, so yeah I'm really really excited to set it up I'm going to do this off camera guys I normally don't uh, build the enclosures uh, on camera because I like to focus and it can take me a little while to perfect the looks uh, so I want to be hands on and not worry about recording so I'm going to get this all set up and then I'll cut back into the video once it's done so I finally finished setting up the enclosure you guys are probably eager to have a look and i am honestly going to say this is probably one of the best enclosures i have ever set up i love the way it looks and hopefully the vampire crowds will enjoy it just as much as i do and get to breathing in it but enough of the chit chat let's just have a zoom out and take a look at what i'll come up with so oh my god take a look at this guys now i don't want to toot my own horn but this is probably one of the better enclosures i've ever set up um, simply because I've used live plants. I don't know why I've not used plants until now. Um, but yeah, so let's just talk about the enclosure. So just having a quick zoom in here. Look at the aesthetics. Looks really, really nice and really naturalistic. I've utilized some moss I got from Micro Exotics. I can see some cushion moss here. So with this moss over here. And some more moss on the corners over here. Now, uh, basically I've set this up in a way that the vampire crabs have options of where they want to go based on water. So of course vampire crabs do need water in order to hydrate their gills. And lucky enough for me, I keep fish. So fish tank water is absolutely fantastic for these guys because you know, it's naturalistic, uh, no chlorine in it. Um, you could use bottled water, but for me, I'm lucky enough to have fish tanks that were well cycled. So, you know, they have the beneficial bacteria in the water and everything. So that's why I've used this water dish over here and it looks a lot better than I thought it would look in all honesty. Uh, really, really happy to pick this up from Ely Exotics. If you guys haven't checked out my Mildon Hall Invert Show video, highly recommend checking out all the great pickups and basic everything I got here was from Ely Exotics. Um, I utilize this uh, plant here with the purple leaves, looks really, really nice. And I put this by the water dish so I can overflow it and it will benefit from the flooded water because apparently, according to Leah from Unusual Pets, um, this plant likes a lot of water. I believe this is called Creeping Fig. Um, really, really nice. I've put this in around the enclosure and hopefully it'll grow out and I can start getting trimmings of it. Didn't use all of it and decided to propagate another sprig of it and hopefully we'll be able to use these more in the enclosures in the future. I'll use this plant here, just popped it down here, just to see how it will grow in this little bit here. Utilize different bits of cork bark, as you can see there's one bit over here away from the water if they want to get away from it. And there's one piece of cork bark here if they wanted to go more towards the water. Now I've also used uh, the mix, as you can see here, this is my sphagnum moss uh, peat mop mix, as well as utilizing the uh, creature soil, which it actually had a really nice texture. So if you guys are looking for a substrate, definitely recommend out checking uh, Zoomed, you know, no cocoa fiber and, uh, you know, pretty good for uh, standard inverts. I don't know if I would use it for like millipedes and beetles and stuff because of the sand, but um, it would be pretty good for pretty much anything else that doesn't need to eat their substrate. And yeah, overall, guys, I'm just so happy with the house's enclosures turned out. What do you guys think? I'm really, 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 really happy. And I just hope that these vampire crabs enjoy it just as much as I do taking a look at it here. So let's get some up close footage of this absolutely amazing enclosure, then we'll get to rehousing these beautiful vampire crabs. So now that you guys have managed to have a look at the enclosure, what do you guys think? I am so happy with how the enclosures turned out, it's absolutely beautiful. Now, I did want to talk about a couple of things that I didn't mention when talking about the enclosure. Uh, you probably noticed that I didn't use the water dish um, or food dish that came with the zoom end enclosure. Now, although it does look pretty good uh, and it is, I believe, glow in the dark on the UV, um, I decided not to use it because I just like the naturalistic look of this enclosure too much to put something like that in there. Uh, but I probably will end up using it for something like, I don't know, some beetles or something like that to put their jelly pots in or maybe my ants. Uh, but yeah, regardless, um, I'm really, really happy with everything that came in this enclosure and definitely check out Ely Exotics at the shows that they do manage to trade in. Uh, words are that they might be able to get to some of the shows in the future. Um, so definitely go check them out for all of your uh, 
needs and stuff like that absolutely fantastic um and also i managed to add in some uh, springtails in here i finally got to use orange springtails in one of my enclosures i've been breeding these for uh, quite a long time now the protonura species uh, you definitely will not see them in here because they are fossorial and hopefully in the time that it takes for them to acclimate into here they will start breeding and uh you know i'll have a nice little breeding group of orange springtails in here kind of want to do something different than the typical normal springtails uh, but that's pretty much everything that i uh did in here and i will be of course uh using uh, fish tank water in here to keep the plants happy and healthy and keep these crabs uh, well oxygenated with the water uh, just in the pool down here so enough talking guys, let's get these absolutely gorgeous crabs rehoused. Uh, as you can see, they are just chilling in their sphagnumos, but I'm going to uh, just take them out one by one and get them into their new enclosure. So the first one up is one of the females, as you can see right here. So I'm just gonna pop this little one just onto the piece of cork bark. There you go. And uh, it is right there. So I'm gonna grab another one now. Just basically do it one by one so it looks up next i've got let's see it's the other female oops don't jump away i've got a brand new enclosure to go into there we go right here as you can see really really beautiful and i'll get this little one in here as well just like that so that is two of the three last but not least is the little male which is buried up in the substrate just in the corner of the tub and here he is once again for you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Cleaning its eyes. Oh, look at that. Got a little bit of dirt in its eyes. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to pop it over here as well. And just like that, they're rehoused. And yeah, this enclosure is really, really nice size for them. And hopefully they start breeding in here. Uh, and hopefully in the future, I'll be able to acquire more of this species and further succeed in breeding them i definitely am going to get a couple maybe one or two more of these style enclosures and get more species of uh, vampire crabs now because these are just absolutely amazing just i cannot wait to see how they adapt in here and hopefully in the future i'll be able to update you guys with some babies so that's pretty much the end of today's video guys let's get some up close footage on these stunning crabs and then we'll end today's video So that is the end of today's video guys, what do you think? One absolutely fantastic enclosure this ended up turning out to be and definitely has motivated me to start using more plants in my enclosures. Um, I had an awesome time setting this up and I'm really, really happy with the Zoom Ed enclosure. Highly recommend using them guys. Uh, if you do see them about, definitely go check them out. And of course, check out Ely Exotics information down in the description below. And yes, I had an awesome time. What do you guys think? If you have any tips for these vampire crabs, like any ways I can improve the enclosure, do let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, so that's the end of today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. If you would, click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. I'd also really appreciate if you guys were following me on Instagram, Jeremy's World World, underscore as well as my Facebook page, Jeremy's Wild World. I'm really active on there, posting pictures and videos of the animals and inverts I keep when I don't upload on YouTube. So that's all for me today, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.